turn on. What's going on, guys? Hoping, hoping, I hope you're having an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and I have my co-host. Buddy, introduce yourself. Hey, go first. <laughs> See you night. Ah! You got that from, uh, I'm not even going to say. Come in, little friend. Got the camera ready? Ready to go, Pluto. All right, and today we're doing part two of Top Ten Hollywood Urban Legends, part two, since you guys wanted a part two so freaking bad. All right. If you guys haven't seen part one, I would recommend you watch that one first and then come back here. That's what I just said. we have the curse of poltergeist yeah number 10 is the curse of poltergeist and this is a really um this is a horror movie one of my friends said this is one of his favorite films most horror for all right you save that when you get to your comments all right not to mention the all right <laughs> you can say it when i tell you to all right this thing, usually horror films make you scare, scare the living crap out of you. But in this case, I'm not really a fan of horror films, but Night is. And wait, 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 let me put you on the, let me put you on speaker. Say it. <laughs> if you guys know that show, 50 bazillion points on you if you've been subscribing to my channel. Uh, true. Yeah, I don't really watch that show anymore. So I don't watch, I watch it anymore watch. either. Alright, let's get... Yeah. Yeah, I found it a little creepy because, uh... You know, and I'll tell you off camera. Yeah, plus... Yeah, I've read some articles about this film. So apparently somebody um did die on after the movie m was Yeah, I think two guys like Beck and another guy, they were in Poltergeist 2 and they died of natural causes. And I'm like, "Oh my god." And freaked everyone uh, out. And plus one of the actresses, Dominique Dunn, and that's she's an actress, played one of the daughters in the movie. And not only that, this is kind of weird, but she was attacked by her ex-boyfriend. He walked... And he strangled her to death. That is fucked up. Number nine... Rescue, you know. So this was a- I'm not really gonna say the full thing of it, because I don't want to get denomatized and lose my job. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say the whole thing. It's just- it, Now, this comes from a Disney film called The Rescuers. And there was a very bad pic- There was a very inappropriate picture in that film. And the movie- follows a few mines that need to rescue people and they're flying down a little ramp in the window I'm not even like plus I don't know how such a photo like that could make its way into a kids movie some say that it was a v disgruntled employee that wanted to get revenge on on Disney putting through development hell 
And plus, people think, others think it was the Illuminati trying to put inappropriate messages to children. And there were, and it was a very inappropriate thing. In later versions, they actually decided to take it out. I, I don't rather, I'm not even saying it. Nightfall, do you have any comments? No comments. Just, if you're going to make a kids movie, don't put inappropriate things. Oh yeah, she got a kid's movie. I heard it. It was a. It was a big news about also after after twenty five years. Twenty two years actually. Yeah, it's over. The guy actually grows up. Shh. I mean, the guy did retire. Uh, hold on. Alright, we're gonna move. Why don't you win young. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna move on to number eight. Oh, Fuck you. Mm. We have three we have three men, a baby, and a ghost. And this is the very, very famous rumor if you lived in Hollywood or if you still live in Hollywood today. Who knows? We had Reddit to thank for breaking it down for me. And there's even a thing people think that there was a ghost of a boy in the background. People think it was the, yeah, it kind of sounds like the boy died in the, in that house, or he wants his 50 minutes of fame. Didn't matter if he was dead, he got it. People say it's, people say it wasn't a ghost at all, it was just like a cutout from whatever. It's just so much more fun. All right, do you have, hold on. Got any comments? I think All right, we're gonna go to number seven and it's Mr. Rogers Kill People. If you guys don't know, he did that song, It's a Wonderful Day in the Neighborhood, I might be wrong. I'm not even gonna sing it, let's not even go there. And he always, like, had a reputation of people who should be good. And always pointing, keep people in the right direction of the compass. And he was an example of how people should be, of being a good person. He, people, yeah, people think that he was a sniper and just, like, had, like, a number of people that he killed. He never had a military background. People think that it might have been because of his kids show. Before we move on to number six, Nightfall, do you have anything to say about this? Nightfall? Huh? Do you have anything to say about it? No one is a person, a good person at all. Hmm. No one is just we're all just the same. Good guys, bad guys, victims or not, or angels. Hmm. No one is made of them. We're all just, we're just all idiots. Uh, or that's what makes us human. Alright. We have number six, or number... Walt Disney's head! We all know Disney. The half of the... Where, where, let's save it. Eh. It's crazy to think that for one guy. Ah, oh, good lord. I hate when this person texts me. Ah, uh, Knight, you there? Ah, oh. oh, forget it. So apparently, <laughs> people think he could die and then come back to life. His head chopped off and frozen, which is weird, in biostasis. Who knows if we could reanimate people in the future to the point where, from the dead, he would be in the first on the list. And he would be one of those floating head dudes. Plus, he was a 
floating head, he would be like that guy from Power Rangers. Uh, Zordon, I think his name is. Uh, a number f Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Nightfall, any comments about this cryo thing? Alright, we're going on to number five, then. Kubert fake the moon landing. People think the moon landing was fake. You gotta make the best of it. The legend says it was Stanley Kubert. He was one of the strangest. He has an eye for the sci-fi. People think he left hints behind in his movie. He was in on it. What the hell? Oh jeez. Nightfall. Anything? About it. Yeah, if you guys like Lion King, this is the next one. You might want to click off to all those big Lion King fans out there. Because if you guys have seen the movie poster, there is a very inappropriate message. I hope, I, hope Lion King. I hope they're not watching this. It's, uh, I'm just gonna say S Lion King. I'm not saying the four letter word. Okay. There have been some messages in Lion King throughout time. And plus, there was a very inappropriate message from Simba and... I think that's the son, right? That's the son of uh, Mufasa. And Nala just rolling around and falling on... And, and Elton John singing in the background, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Oh my god. And everything was extremely romantic. And and not only that, the the sky spelled out a four, I mean a three letter word that I'm not even going to say because I don't need to get demonetized. There's just been so many ways with pervy Disney scenes. It's just like, is this thing for kids or not? Nightfall, any comments? No yeah, well, I wasn't even a fan of The Lion King anyway. Alright, we're going on to number three, Richard Gere's gerbil incident. South Park did do an episode of this. There was a rumors. So apparently Richard Gere, there was a rumor that went around him. A light way. He... He, this guy had to go to the hospital because he had a gerbil stuck in his, let's just say his anus. Oh my god. Sorry, I just don't want to say the other way around or else I'm going to get demonetized. If he's, yeah, if you say so, well, my friends are just like, be cool, and I'm like, fuck you, so... Yeah, and I don't know if the gerbil survived. And this was a fake rumor, but it was fake. Apparently, the... Yeah, because apparently when Richard Gere... Like, if that thing is still in the back door, good lord. Plus, I... I found out there was a church he belonged to and he wanted to leave and they started doing things to keep him from leaving, from spreading rumors to leaving, to leave it. Spreading rumors, threats, to prevent him from leaving. Oh. Oh my god. Nightfall, you got any comments on this? Alright, we're gonna go to number two. And this one, I've actually seen this movie. It's kind of sad and it's... It's called The Crow Death Scene. One of the most famous movies ever. Plus, the real actor did die on set. <laughs> With the gun instead being loaded blank, there was a real... There was a real-life round in the gun. After release... After releases of the film actually had died... 
after releases of the film and he died, they were saying rumors went around saying it's what they really put in the real movie, which who knows if it's true or not. There was an investigation that never made it into the film. Oh my god. Plus, people think that this movie, people think that this was a movie that was just basically trying to make money off the actor's death. Not cool, Hollywood. Not cool. Wait, 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 wait. Any comments? Any comments? Hollywood, you really are a dick. Honestly, it's called the cr yeah. It's called the uh, it's called the crow. Hollywood is doing my ass. Yeah, but do you have anything to say about the movie The Crow? No, I don't, I don't think, I don't watch that movie, but... Have you heard of it? Is it involved with a uh, raven or just a bird crow? It's like a hero film, it's a superhero film, but it's like... Because apparently the actor, his name was Brandon Lee. You know I'm not a fan of superhero movie no more. Yeah. It's a very sad movie. Alright, let's get to number one and then we'll finish off for tonight. The Devil and the Exorcist. This is a crazy and one of the hell of a horror films. So seeing a girl being possessed by the devil is... And I read in articles that some people actually peed their pants in the theater. Wow. Now, if I want to go to the movies, I have to make sure that, you know, somebody didn't go to the bathroom in their pants. And a lot of people were afraid. Urban legends... Plus, may people think urban legends have stated maybe the devil was there during the shooting of the film. He probably came through, they were making it look good. There were seven mysterious stars that broke out. And people were trying to burn set down on the movie and it, to prevent it from being made. And not only that, the actor Jack McGowan, I probably said his last name wrong, I'm so sorry, died after set. It could be a coincidence, who knows? It's really eerie. Alright. Nightfall, any comments? Nope. Oh, <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for Top 10 Scary Hollywood Urban Legends Part 2. My name is Jade and I'm signing out. Night out. Alright. The video is over, little buddy. Whatever you say, Pluto.